Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me on another video. If you're new, here we talk about how to budget, how to save money, on topics on how to live a more intentional lifestyle in order to try and live a happier life. So if these are topics that interest you, I invite you to go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And again, I welcome you and thank you for being here. So today I will go ahead and give you the quote of the day and it's about something that we all love. Everybody loves this and that is money. Everybody loves money. Not everybody knows how to take care of their money, budget their money, or um, put it towards what's best in their lives, but um, for the best purpose. But everybody loves money. I do. At least I do. I know that. But um, this quote is from Dave Ramsey. I'm sure um, most of the people here know knows who Dave Ramsey is. And if you don't, I invite you to go ahead and um, search him up. He is a very famous um, financial ad advisor. And um, his quote is, A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. This is a very famous quote, and that is, again, a budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. It might be very familiar to a lot, but there's probably one person at least that has never heard this quote or has never even heard of Dave Ramsey. So the reason why I wanted to bring this quote, it's because there was a point in my life that I heard this quote for the first time and it hit me. It hit me and it's so true, especially when you're not used to budgeting, you can feel restricted to budget instead of feeling free, which a budget makes you feel the, totally the opposite of feeling restricted. It gives you freedom. It makes you feel free. Actually, um, some people might feel poor if they do a budget, but in reality, I feel, pers my personal feeling is that a budget makes you feel not rich, but free, financially free. Like you have no worries, you feel more financial freedom than if you're living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. To paycheck. So um, I really, I can really relate to how people can feel res restricted because when I didn't know how to budget, I was trying to budget and however I could, then I started learning how to budget. So it wasn't so hard for me, but when I tried to bring my husband on board, it was, it was hard for him. It was hard because a lot of people are not used to talking about money. They don't like to talk about money. There's people that don't like to talk about money. And the moment you start talking about money, they might feel like, oh, we're in financial trouble. There's something going on. We don't have money. There's problems. Is that why she's trying to do a budget? It's not very common that everybody does a budget. While we're in this community, we might think, oh yeah, most people do a budget. No, most people don't do a budget and they don't know what a budget is or how to do it. So, um, I, re I can really relate how some people can feel restricted because I've seen it uh, with my husband. I've, I've seen how, how he kind of felt restricted or he thought that there was no money and that's why we were doing a budget. But um, in reality, a budget can give you freedom. And I really think that if we change the mentality on how we look at money, um, instead of looking at it as a reward, for working and then wanting to go spend your money when when you get your paycheck um, we can look at it as a tool if you looked at the money as a tool to do many things to buy a home to buy a car to buy furniture to to have fun in order you need that tool in order to do all those things and just the normal your normal life you need that tool so if you don't have that tool 
and you waste your money and you don't, bu you don't budget, you won't be able to do all these things. Even if you finance your home or your car, which is okay, what I'm saying, you have to have control of your finances in order to have a good credit, in order to um, to keep your good credit. Because if you don't, if you miss your mortgage, if you miss your car payment, there goes your credit. You won't be able to acquire anything else, which um, I don't, Dave Ramsey says, don't use credit cards, but I really do believe in good credit and finding that balance in your life. Um, so don't use credit cards just for ev everyday life or just to have fun or buy junk, but um, build your, your credit. And there's many ways that you can um, build your credit with your living expenses. So, um, and we'll talk about more, uh, more about this topic on future videos. But again, you need this tool, which is money, in order to be able to do all these things. And if you need this tool, which is money, you have to take care of it. You have to budget so you know where your money went. Assign your money a job. It's a tool. A tool is to work. Have it work for you instead of wondering where it went because you didn't budget, you ran out of money, now you don't have money, and it's like a vicious circle. You don't, you don't have money because you don't budget, and now you feel because you don't have money, there's no money you can budget, and you're not motivated because you don't have money, but you don't have money because you didn't budget. It's just a vicious circle that um, is just like a snowball kind of thing that if you don't um, have control of your finances and budget correctly, you will always feel deprived. You'll be living paycheck to paycheck and you'll never have enough money. A lot of people feel like they should reward themselves by going out to eat, going uh, shopping when they get their paycheck. So if we stop looking at the money as a reward for working, but really as a tool to do many things and to live a better life, I think that would change a lot of um, mentalities in our lives. So if you really think about it, um, everybody should do a budget and it might better your life. I hope this quote was helpful today. And if it was, go ahead and share in the comments below. Anything, any thoughts that this brought you, please go ahead and share it in the comments below. It helps a lot um, our community for everybody that comes in and reads those comments. Thank you so much, and I'll show you the items I will be decluttering for today. Okay, here I have 24 items for day 8. I have here a key ring, key chain that goes around the neck with rhinestones. I got this and never used it. Uh, it has a key ring at the bottom with a little latch to hold to hook your keys onto. But um never never used it, never gonna use it. Here I have this sweatpants that um I used to wear as pajamas but I haven't used in a long time and I noticed that the elastic it's not good anymore. It's crumbly and it's not good. So I'm getting rid of it. These pants look okay from one side, but look very old from the other side. It doesn't have one little hole, but it has two big holes and my son wrote on them. So they're going in the trash, even though he loves them. Over here, I have this bag that I used to um, use when I was selling um, Avon. A long long time ago many years ago and I have saved it just in case I ever needed it again for something it has a, a pocket on the back it has little pockets with like sleeves it's thick it has a handle and it has um, the hooks on the sides for a strap and the little pocket in the front but never gonna use it and haven't used it in a long time getting rid of it and here I have this bed set it's um 
kind of like suede suede material i really love it i love the color i love the texture but um i only have three pieces of it it's the um, top sheet and the two uh, pillowcases but as you can see right here it's for some reason um, stained i don't know if it's like a watermark or someone spilled something on it but I'm getting rid of it. I was using it and covering it with another pillow in the front. But since I'm decluttering, just getting rid of it now. Here I went through my kids' socks drawers. And I found 22 socks. Uh, I'm sorry, 12 socks without a pair. And I found these um, five socks that the elastic is kind of worn and loose. So I'm just getting rid of them. Most of them, the white ones, have some holes. So this is what I'm getting rid of. I hope to see you tomorrow on my next video. Thank you.